Okay, a spot of baking, so appropriate garb. I'm making Kuchen, which in German means, just means cake. But this comes from America and means a kind of sweet yeasted bread. It's half a between cake and bread with fruit on top, baked in a big slab. So it's rather like, I suppose, Danish pastry, only easier and better. Now I have in this mixer about 400 grams of strong white bread flour, 50 grams of caster sugar and half a packet of Easy Ben yeast. And in here, I have 125 mils of warm milk, two eggs, zest of about half a lemon, a bit of good vanilla extract and some ground cinnamon. So. There's no need to do this in a machine. I mean, I've got this dough hook in the mixer, so it makes life easier to, for me to start it off. But in fact, I often do it by hand and I certainly always finish it off by hand. Well, so the liquid has been kind of absorbed and now just final enrichment. 50 grams of really soft unsalted butter, which gives it a lovely silky texture. That looks about ready now. Oh, lovely, it's quite sticky still, but then it will take up the flour as I need. So that's the idea. Kneading, it's much easier for you to understand what I mean if you just watch rather than if I just prattle on. Um, which is simply you push out the dough with the heel of your hand and pull it back with your fingers and if you keep doing that the yeast will start activating and what happens is you gradually feel the dough becoming more elastic and then at the end it suddenly seems to spring into life under your hand. It's a rather fabulous feeling. That's all coming together again. I can just feel it sort of blossoming under my hands. And really, that's the best way of doing it. Once you just need some dough once, you kind of get a feel for it. It's, 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 it's in the hands, not in the head. Put it into a buttered bowl. Just turn it once so the butter stops it from sticking all over. Cover it with cling film. After about an hour, this should have doubled in size. That's probably just the easiest way to tell. So let's go and put that somewhere warm. Look how wonderful. You can see it's risen, really doubled in size. And now, one of the best jobs in the world, punching it down. Such a glorious feeling. Wonderful. Now, a bit of pummeling, like sinking your hands into soft flesh. And that just needs to sit, to relax for a bit, just before I push it out to cover the Swiss roll tin. So that's fine. And I will get on with my egg wash. Which is just one egg, some double cream, which isn't just a splodge or so. I mean, it sounds extravagant, but it's not too bad because you will need the rest of this to eat with. A small bit of ground cinnamon, and whisk together. And I have to say, the smell of cinnamon wafting out of the oven is just lovely. Right. So this is really easy because although it's dough, there's no rolling out or anything, you just press it out. You just lean forward, your hands clenched, just pushing with your knuckles. And you may think you're not going to get this amount of dough to fill the entire Swiss roll tin, but you will. It's just sometimes you have to wait for a bit to let it relax again and push out or it'll spring back. See, look, beautifully filled, nice and lumpy. But that doesn't matter, I mean, this is a rough thing. Paint on the egg wash, also very satisfying. This not only tastes good, but it also stops the fruit from oozing all its liquid into the dough, because you want, you want it to not to be soggy. I mean, I like a bit of sog, but not too much. So I'm just going to leave that just to get a bit puffier and rise slightly while I get on with making the crumble. It's straightforward. And what I've got in here is 50 grams of self-raising flour, 25 grams of ground almonds, and some cinnamon. Now, it's normal to use plain flour, but I think self-raising flour makes it much better, much lighter. And what I need as well is 50 grams of really cold, good unsalted butter, just diced like this. And then all you do is rub the butter 
into the, these dry ingredients. And by rubbing, I just mean you're kind of pressing the, your, the fleshy parts of your thumbs against the fleshy parts of your fingers and just like fluttering. And it is a nice feel, the cool, smooth butter against the cool, smooth flour. And sooner or later, it'll look like rather fatty oatmeal. That's about it. So sugar, two tablespoonfuls of caster sugar, two of demerara for the crunch, and two tablespoons, thereabouts, of flaked almonds. And just fork this through, don't use a spoon, little clump. And I know this seems like quite a lot of sugar, but you've got to remember that those apples and blackberries are quite tart, so it needs it. And now, I'm just going to add some zest to the blackberries and brownies, scatter those on top of the dough, crumble on top, a few more almonds in the oven, that's it.